So wireless networks are out there and they're pervasive. So think about it, now you can use them to collect contextual information about mobile assets. You can know where they are, you can know which temperature they're in, humidity, pressure, even if they are in motion or not. So now that you have this contextual information and all this richness, you put some intelligence to it and now you can create the right environment for mobile workers. Deciding on where they are and based on where things are, what's the right application, what the right uh, place at the right time. Let me give you an example. Right now I'm using my presence application and every time I'm in a meeting, I have to move it and say I'm in a meeting. So first things, I sometimes forgot to do it. If it's automated because now they have the context, they know where I am, this can be dynamically done. Even better, now they can tell me I'm in a meeting with you, Ed, and um, you know I'm in this room. Now somebody that I have a meeting with in the next hours know that I'm in this building and can directly come to look for me if they want to talk with me. So we can definitely make things easier for uh, workers and for assets by knowing contextual information via the wireless network. Context awareness will help your business by dynamically answering questions that are critical to your business. So let's say any of your employees during the day has to answer any of the five questions I'm going to tell you, then context awareness can do something for you. Question could be, is it here? Where is it? What is its condition? What is this person's status? And where is it in my network? Any of these questions can be um, answered via contextual information. Let's look at uh, what, is in, what is its condition, for instance. What is its condition is more than just location. Contextual information is more than location. It could be temperature, pressure, humidity, um, the fact if the asset or the person is in motion or not, or what we can call telemetry or sensoring as well. One example is if you are in the retail business and you have to manage perishable goods and to have them from a warehouse to your retail store where they're going to be um, sold, then you have to make sure that those goods will stay at a certain temperature. That's one other way to use contextual information, not necessarily based on location, but you can you know, couple them. Like for instance, you know that it stays at the same temperature and maybe there is one stop or one event in the whole chain at one location where this is not the case anymore and when your goods are not good anymore, if it's frozen good, for instance. So that's how context awareness can help you. Well, the first thing is context aware is very easy. Most of our IT manager can probably already have context awareness with their network. Of course, they don't have the full solution. They may just know, are they in the building, right? Are they connected to the network? That's some contextual information about an asset. And as they need more and more information, they need a network architecture that will evolve and be flexible enough for them to add this accuracy either by you know, certain deployment, type of deployment, adding Wi-Fi tags, but also in the future, as I mentioned in um, my past example, you have passive RFID, you have Wi-Fi, you have cellular. They want to plan ahead of time to make sure that their network will be able, you know, will enable the convergence of any access technology and any device, right? You could use this application and this information over a laptop, a dual mode phone, um, a cellular phone, a Wi-Fi phone. So these are the things that IT managers have to keep in mind. Openness of the platform, being able to converge networks. Finally, the last thing is how. How do you use contextual information collected by the wireless network into your business applications, right? Because at the end of the day, the nurse is going to use bed management or medication administration application. The factory workers will use inventory management. So you need an open API or an open system in your architecture to basically share this contextual information with other business applications. So that's what IT manager wants to check.